Well, it's another cold and chilly morning. Today we're chasing squid once again. But I'm gonna try catch some squid and then do a catch and cook before work today. So we don't have much time, but hopefully we get a few squid so I can show you guys how to catch and cook them. I'm just doing a basic crumb. So stay tuned guys. Hopefully we get onto a few. So we've got a selection of squid jigs here. A couple are Roy jigs and the rest are mix from Mick Jiggers. So we're going to be using this one today. I haven't used it yet, but it does have a nice rattle to it once again. And it's got a white cloth over the top. So we'll give that a crack. Hopefully get onto a few with this. All right, we've got the jig on. So let's give the jig the first ever cast. First cast of the morning. Hopefully we can catch a few so that I can cook some lunch. You're kidding. Don't tell me this is a squid, yep. First cast of the day. It is a small one, but we'll take what we can get because I am going to cook them up. Look at that. Just a small one, but it is a squid, so we'll add it to our growing collection. And as you can see, the two mantles have grabbed it, and that's what they use to propel to hit their prey. First cast with the new jig and <laughs> pulled up the first squid of the day. I'm gonna kill it. So just like that, the body's dead. And there we go. That's the whole squid dead. Let's cast in the exact same spot because hopefully there's a few followers. Nothing on second cast. Yes. Third cast and we're on again. This one does feel like it's got a fair bit of weight. It actually might be a, a better squid. Early morning usually brings in some bigger ones. It's about 6.30 a.m. It's quite chilly. There's another one. Not bad, but 10 minutes in and we've got ourselves a feed already. <laughs> oh, that was close. I ended up getting me on, on my jeans, my black jeans. Yep, there's another squid. Oh, it's been a while since catching one. Caught the first two within 10 minutes and it's probably been about half an hour without anything. So I'm glad this one's jumped on. Once again, not huge, just an average size for here. But three should be enough for a feed but I'll take four if I can. So if we don't catch another one, I would not be fast because we've got to... Oh, <laughs> he's trying to propel himself. I'll show you something on the inside of their tentacles. There's a beak inside and it looks exactly like a parrot's beak. I'll see if he can expose them for you. So just on the inside there, there's a beak. You might be able to see it when I put my finger close to it. There we go. See how it comes out? There's a beak hidden amongst that and it can bite a chunk out of your skin. So just gotta be careful about that. 
they do tend to squirm and try bite you sometimes. And we'll dispatch it. There we go. Have a look at those cool colour changes. And that eye is just immaculate. Alright, three squid. I'll keep four today. No more. So let's try get back into it. Alright, just hooked up to the fourth squid. I reckon they've moved out a little bit further. This is going to be the last squid today. And then I'm going to prepare them and show you how to cook them up. There we go. Another smaller squid, but it'll add to our feed that we've got already. Well, there we have it. That's one of the squid that we caught. Just on mixed jig. So it's just that white, white squid jig there. Works gun. And it produced this little guy. We've caught four so far. And that's enough for a feed. So add him to the pile. And then I'll show you how to catch, clean and prepare them. Well, I couldn't resist another cast and I've hooked up to another squid. <laughs> so that means I've got five now. This one's one of the bigger ones now. Slightly bigger. Those colours are just incredible. Five squid, ready to be prepared and to cook up. So I'm gonna find a nice spot to cook them up and to show you guys. So we've cleaned all the squid and now I'm going to show you the ingredients we're going to use to make this salt and pepper squid. I've got two eggs here, some panko breadcrumbs and plain flour. I've added some salt and pepper in it so that it adds the salt and pepper to the salt and pepper squid and also a lemon that I'll squeeze on afterwards. I'm going to crack the eggs into this container here. You want to make sure the eggs are beaten, so... Just like that there. We're going to open these packets up. And the first thing is to put the squid inside the flour. So put it in the flour like that. Zip it up give them a good shake and in the meantime I'm probably gonna heat up this pan I didn't forget to bring a pan this time and then I've just got olive oil don't put too much oil in once we've given that a good shake they're all evenly dispersed we're now gonna drop them in the egg I'm probably only gonna do a few at a time just like so and give it a good mix so they're all evenly dispersed all right now our next step is we're gonna chuck the squid into the panko crumbs now that they're in the panko crumbs we're gonna give it a good shake 
and I'm going to do the rest as well. It's always good to prepare all this before you leave because it just makes things easier. You, all you have to do is dip it in the flour, drop it in the egg, and then splash it around in the panko crumbs. Just makes things a lot easier and more efficient. They're all coated really nice. And that's how they should look. That oil is still a little bit cold, but we'll test that one out. And we've got all of them to do. Keen as. I had to move positions because the wind was sort of putting out my fire. Whoa! That was not meant to happen. Squid's still alive. I thought I killed him. Don't you just love hearing the waves in the background? Seagulls walking in the background and just blue sky. It's gorgeous weather today and uh, yeah, we ended up catching a feed of squid. So I'm super excited and it's so rewarding when you eat your own fish, especially when it's caught within an hour or two. Can't beat the taste of fresh fish, especially since you know all the effort you've put through to catch them. So I've just turned them and that's what you want to see, that crispy golden look. And we want to cook it for the same amount of time on the other side. Doesn't that look pleasing? Well there we have it guys. A beautiful feed of salt and pepper southern calamari. Caught freshly within the last two hours. These are just so crispy. Have a look at that. Wow. And the texture of them is quite soft. But you just can't beat a view like that as well. Taste test time. Wow. As you can see, it's so soft. And it's very simple ingredients. Plain flour, eggs, and panko crumbs. Salt and pepper. Can have lemon with it, but I've got solo, so that's enough lemon for it. But it's just amazing. Mm. I'm gonna be enjoying this next to the water. Well guys, that concludes another episode. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And I do have a Patreon account where you can help me make more of these awesome videos. Really appreciate you guys. If you haven't already noticed, I've been putting a lot more effort into making a video every Friday for you guys. Even if it's just a like or a comment in my videos, it really does help. But really appreciate you guys watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.